children who are born with cleft lips are physically and uh, aesthetically uh, put aside from the society. I think for the first time in my life I saw um, people with the age of 40, 50 and 60 with cleft lip that they go through all their life with the visual disturbances to others because you see it, it's very noticeable and very beautiful people but the only thing that you can notice is that the lip is open. We had about 105 people coming from uh, the Somalian area in Ethiopia. People are coming from 900 kilometers. Took them several days to come over to Addis Ababa. The second thing is the quality of uh, working in a hospital. That the bed doesn't go up, lift up or down. There's no light in some areas, so you have to work with the headlight, like during camping. There's no, actually, the, the, the crazy thing is 24 hours without water. We started every morning about 7, 8 o'clock and we finished about 9, 9.30 in the evening. So it was really, really something difficult. We were all happy in the end of the week that it finished, that we finished all the 80 surgeries. It's something that I never experienced in my life before and it was something very fulfilling. And hopefully we'll, I'll do it again in the summer, somewhere else.